introduction of the paperless system of cargo clearance came to revolutionize revenue mobilization at the port as much as it came to minimize the cost of doing business and the delays associated with the clearance process. You will recall that within a month or two, revenue mobilization increased at the customs level by about 50, 58%. That's over 50%. That was absolutely remarkable. And so many questions were raised that without the paperless system, what was happening? Does it mean that people were negotiating and then uh, paying, cutting corners and paying less than they should pay? Of course, the paperless system came to remove the person-to-person -person contact in the clearance process. So the possibility of negotiating and other things were, were, were removed. In addition to uh, minimizing uh, delays and the cost of doing business. That, is, it, it, that in itself should encourage... So can you give us some numbers about how the increased efficiency has led to more revenue, for example? By what percentage? That's why I said that uh, at the customs level, about 58% at the initial stages. But as to whether it is sustainable or not, that's another question.